Hi, I'm Amy with Feller Roofing, better known as the Roofer Chick. Today we're doing another project spotlight. This is a project that I have been super excited about. We did a concrete tile roof out in Rockwall Ranch. It was new construction, it was a custom build, and it was the house is just massive as you can see. The customer um, found us on Google and read through our reviews and decided that I was who they wanted to use for their roof project. So they actually contacted us and made an appointment to come into our office. This was about, it was probably about six months before they were ready to do the project. We sat down, I went through the plans, gave them a bid, and we were ready to go. Tile roofs are actually one of the longest lasting roofs that you can put on a structure. Now, the, what really keeps the water out on a tile roof isn't necessarily the tile. I mean, of course it does keep the water out, but underneath the tile is the underlayment. And so when a tile roof finally goes bad, which takes a very long time generally, what happens is it's that the underlayment has gone bad. And so you can tear off all the tiles, fix the underlayment, put the same tiles back and not replace them, and then you're good to go for another 50 to 75 years. Now, you can't just put tile on any house. If you have an existing structure, it's probably not built for tile. It has to be engineered so that it will hold that much of a weight because it's also one of the heaviest roofs that you can put on a house. In fact, it probably is the heaviest roof that you can put on a house. We often get the question of if tile roofs will hold up against hailstorms, and concrete tile roofs hold up very well until you get to like the baseball softball size like that hit the dominion last year and i think also the year before and that will break tile and when that happens most insurance companies will only cover to replace the individual tiles a tricky thing about tile is it's kind of like flooring and they quit making certain tiles after a certain amount of time so that it's hard to repair them and you can generally get something that's close that has the same profile. There's several different profiles with tile and it's pretty common with tile to use different colors inside of one roof. In this roof, we just use one tile, but often you mix three or four. And so when you do repairs with something that's a little different, it doesn't really stand out very much. My cameraman just pointed out to me that we are supporting IUS instead of ISU. I didn't do that. There we go. Better. Better. A big thing about tile roofs is, that especially if you have trees around your property, they need to be cleaned off because if, like I said before, the tile roof isn't impervious to the underlayment getting wet. And so if leaves or any sort of debris fall on your roof, that will create a dam and back the water and it will go up your roof instead of down your roof and it will rot out your underlayment way faster. So I generally recommend, um, depending on what your tree cover is, but for sure clean it off once a year. I have one customer where we go and clean it off twice a year just because he has so much. Thanks for watching this Project Spotlight and we'll see you next time.